So what's your name? It's Nerius. Nerius and Martha are going to help us get this. that back to mother when you're 18 <laughs> yeah you keep on to that till you're 18 <laughs> yeah so agnes is supervising and uncle john is being silly because that's his default mode quite a lot of uh, editing i'm imagining here <clears throat> get the belt in there belt in there That's the, that's that bit. And the belt went in there. That's great. And then that should just tip back like that. Okay. And so this then is the bobbin. Bobbin wind. So John's come, and by chance, uh, Adam and uh, Agnes are here too. And uh, Agnes has just gone looking for pussy cats, so that she can say meow to them. And John's helping me fit this this is possibly its final home i'm not quite sure yet good light here from the window uh, but also i can see what i'm doing here what are you going to make on this then uh well i've got a quilt commission for september and i know it's halfway through september now but i wanted to do it on here i wanted to start it on here because um it's best if you do it all on one machine it doesn't actually matter to be honest but I've got this ambition to do it on here. Lots of lovely straight seams. And it'll go faster than the uh, old genome. That's the plan. So you're going to do the genomes? Well, the genome's the great. No, I'm not going to throw it in the lake. The genome's good for things like the walking foot and zigzag stitch. Because this doesn't do zigzag stitch. This is just a workhorse, really. Yeah. Hello, Agnes. What have you got there? You want to come and see the sewing machine? Come and see the sewing machine, Agnes. <laughs> What's Uncle John doing? Sorting out a bobbin winder. Small hassle in need of thought. <laughs> <laughs> now this is not good. This is going to be definitely off limits for you, love. You should, you should give out an answer to the first go. <laughs> Where's the other screw? You had it. She nearly lost the other screw there. No, I had it in my hand. John likes to be dramatic. What's next? Well, we've just watched the video from the uh, company that I bought it from. And next is putting in the oil. Well, actually, we've got a crib sheet here, John. I'm going to read it to you. Take the machine out of the box. Done. There will be a grip seal inside the box. Remove the black mushroom, see pick two. We've done that. Silver hinges in. We got that one back from Agnes. That's good. Push the silver hinges into the two holes on the back of the machine. We've done that. Right, okay. Tip the machine back so it's resting on the plastic headrest. Put the black knee lift mushroom into the sump. Done it. Done it. Find the oil. Where's the oil? There it is. <laughs> and fill the sump to the highest level. Take the belt and slip it over the motor pulley. See pick three for motor pulley location. Undo the two screws on the right hand side of the machine. You're doing that now. And find the silver bobbin. Find the silver bobbin winder. Oh, bobbin winder, aren't they? Yeah. Um, right. Oil in? Yeah, oil in. Let's just... Oil in. Oil in the sump. 
once this is in, can't really move it too far, can we? And can you see there's a, a gauge that says high and low? Put it all in till it gets to high. You could fill this up with some other liquid, like milk, couldn't you? <laughs> see what would happen. Gin. Or beer, yeah. <laughs> no, it wouldn't lubricate it quite so well, would it? Well, we'd find out, wouldn't we? we would. only, only one way to only know for sure. Only one way to know for sure. Is that full now? No, it's not high yet, is it? Okay, I can't see. I'm watching it through the camera. Right, high. Okay, good. Let's put this back over here. Then. Oh, the, the cave, the, the belt over the motor. There's my boy. <laughs> He's a good boy, isn't he? Right, what next? Um, there was There was a guard. Uh, there's these couple of guards, I think. Um, after the steps have been completed, lower the machine into the table and make sure the belt stays on the motor pulley. Yeah, that's on. come out of there. Oh, yeah. Already. That's it. Uh, we just need to unscrew those. Um, just need to unscrew those. Right, that's okay, done. Okay, so this one now. This one goes here. Mm. Hello, Agnes. Hello. Are you going to come and watch this? Uncle John's doing this. Look, this is going to be so completely out of bounds for you. We may have to put a fence round it when you're visiting. Uncle John, what's he doing? Look. Look. Have you got that drill? Yeah. Actually, it's only a few screws. No, come on, I'm going to get it because it'll be easier. Oh, oh, that was John's tea. Okay. okay I get On it. the come thing on. as well. I know, don't worry. I'm not worried. Mother right. specifically said, cool. don't right. spill <laughs> tea on the new cutting mat. And look what she's done. She spilled tea on the cutting mat. You want it flathead, don't you? Yeah. Um, what do you need out of here? Okay, let's look at the rest of the paperwork. There will be two screws in the table. Yes, we've done that. Remove the screws. Maybe that's just where it was fixed. Ah, oh, that's a, 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 a thick holder. Yeah, that has to go up here somewhere. Because that's a cotton holder. That holds the thread. My God, this is very industrial indeed, isn't it? So, so that's good. And now I just need to read up about how to wind the bobbin. Let's plug it in. See what kind of noise it makes. Yeah, it's full of oil. You've got any versus fair needles. And here's my bobbins. Right, undo the plug, John. Pass it to me. A bit on this side. Boom! Oh, <laughs> that was a bad noise. Okay, so. What you right? It's got to have an on switch somewhere, hasn't it? It's down there. Where? Yeah. Oh, down here. Ah, oh, big switch. It works. See how fast it is. He's going to let him thread, man. Yes, I know. I'm going to have to look. Oh, in fact, we'll leave that so that I can see how to thread it up. But then I have to do something about the bobbin. So I'm going to turn it off for a minute because it's actually freaking me out. Isn't it fast? There you go. Thanks so much, both of you, for helping me with that. And um, Sorted. Finished. Oh, we're all down here. Let's go back up here again and we'll say goodbye to Agnes and John as well. So come over here, Adam. <coughs> So look, <laughs> right, 
We now have um, the sewing machine in situ. This was the big secret. It's a little bit more powerful than I was imagining. That's what you wanted though, you wanted I power. Yes I did, I did want power. <sighs> Sadie. Meow. Pussycat. Bye bye. <laughs> Let's see how we manage to make this work. moment is um, I'm getting to know this machine. Uh, it's set up here uh, with my drawers here. It might be in the wrong place. Uh, I'm not sure. But how I'm doing, I'm, how I decided I would just learn how to use it. I found this bale of fabric that used to belong to my mum. It's kind of um, heavier weight cotton than quilting cotton. Not quite upholstery weight, but I don't know. She had a, 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 several yards of this stuff on a bolt and uh, I never liked it for anything. Neither did she, obviously, because it's hung around for years and years. And it's got things like, you know, fade marks up it. It's not great fabric. But in order to find out everything I can about this machine, uh, I'm making loads and loads of bags, these little bags, project bags, little shopping bags, whatever. And it requires several different skills, uh, going slowly, um, faster uh, paced uh, sewing, backwards and forwards, and uh, but no great fiddly. So it's, it's giving me the opportunity to get to know this machine. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I don't need these bags, but it's giving me the opportunity to discover what it is I, I like about this machine. My plan is for this to be my, <clears throat> my main sewing machine with my trusty old genome over there doing the zigzags and the walking foot and all the other things that you need to do. And so it's teaching me how to wind the bobbin, fit the bobbin, uh, keep the uh, whole thing going. There's a few things I like about it, but I'll tell you the things I don't like about it first, <laughs> uh, perversely. Um, I'll just keep sewing while I'm doing this. This is the, this bag that I'm doing is, um, is the bag that I made. It goes through 10 layers of fabric, no problem. That, I like that a lot, but I made this bag it's been my most watched video ever. I'll leave a link here to that one. It's about, you know, making eco shopping bags. And um, I'm, what I'm going to do with these, I don't need all of these bags. I'm making, uh, I've used to use all the fabric and I'm making all of it up into, into bags like this. But what I thought I would do with them is um, I'd just give them away. And so anybody who goes to the shop and Everyone whose order qualifies for free shipping, I'll tuck one of these bags in as well till they're all gone. Uh, and that way I get to do sewing practice. And so you'll find there's, there's places on here um, that where the stitching's not great or it's not straight, or like I say, it's got that fade mark. That one's a very good example of that. Can you see that nasty fade mark there where the fold was? So it's not great. I'm not saying these are great bags. I've never sell them, but I am going to just pass them on to anybody who um, who's in the shop. And as I say, whose order qualifies for free shipping. Then the, when they're all gone, they're gone. And I'll have had uh, a day or so. It's taken me about that long of working out what it is this sewing machine can do. So I was telling you the things I like about it and things I don't like. Uh, I suppose I've been spoiled by having a needle threader on the genome. 
and my old eyes are going to struggle threading a needle as uh, as as time goes on. That's a nuisance, but I'll I'll get I'll get my head around that one. And I suppose the thing that I'm finding the fiddliest because on the genome over there, the uh, the bobbin the bottom bobbin just drops in. This one is fiddling around underneath here, um, uh, and uh, the first couple of times I thought I'm never going to get this in here. <laughs> But now I'm slotting it straight in. It's just like anything, isn't it? Uh, you've just got to learn the ins and outs of it. So this um, bag, I cut them all out yesterday and started sewing them. Uh, someone's doing a heap of streaming outside, but I'll vie with them for noise, no worry. And these bags are going to have French seams. Uh, it's the same design bag as I did in that link that I've left you up there. Exactly the same. Uh, but um, with this blue and green fabric and the French seams mean that there's the seams are enclosed and it m makes for a much stronger bag and it also gives me a lot more sewing to do there's two seams up, uh, up the side instead of one uh, which is what I'm wanting to do I'll tell you another thing I really like about it I mean okay and one I don't like. I don't like the fact that there's no light and there's, I knew that before I bought it there wouldn't be a machine light and this isn't suitable. I have this little light here that I've put next to it but it's not suitable because it's it's too tall it's at the wrong angle. So I'm on the lookout for a nice light that clips on or whatever so that I can uh, uh, I can have I don't need a light today sun streaming through the window. Uh, what I do like about it I really like this about it I'll show you uh, that one's done now. Just needs the side seams doing. I've got a fair few of these and you know you might like them. <laughs> um, okay so I'll show you what it is I like about it. In fact I'm going to bring you in nice and close so that you can see this. Is that one done as well? Yeah that one's done. There we go. I really like how slow it'll go. Look at the control I've got there. So I think the reputation of these things is that they're really fast and go like the clappers. But look at that, I can go really slowly as if I was going around a curve or something. But then if I want to, Sorry about the strimmer outside, but we're making electric noises today. Look at the control I've got there, but then if I want to, I can go much, much faster as well. Well, I will, I'll, I suppose I'll, that, I'll notice that when I get onto the um, side seams. It's a lovely day today. Oh, look at that. Just got the window open. Norma's snuggled in behind me. <laughs> okay, that's all I wanted to say, really. Uh, I'm getting to know it by making lots of things I don't need. But you can have them. Pop over to the shop. There they'll be. Look at her. Isn't she lovely? Hello, you. Sitting next to my Sizzix machine. Hello, Sadie. I don't usually open this window because I don't usually sit in this corner, but this is where I've decided to put the sewing machine. So this is lovely, having a bit of company while I sew.